Well, for more inside on the swap, we bring in On Balance host Leland Vittert. Leland, I want to talk to you about Kelly's piece there. We heard from that judge, the judge who sentenced Boot. She says she only gave him 25 years because she was required to. What is your reaction to that? Victor Boot's uh, track record speaks for itself. And I think when you listen to the people who knew what he did and how he did it, uh, they understand what a dangerous person he was. It takes a lot to get hardened DEA agents uh, to speak in that way about people. Uh, and the concept that at 55 years old, he's not able to re-enter his old trade mm -hmm. of arming the worst people in the world uh, is significant. And it's also pretty telling uh, that this trade is made going into winter when we know Vladimir Putin needs one thing in order to continue his war, which is weapons right. uh, in Ukraine. And it's impossible to not view this uh, through the lens also of Vladimir Putin and what he needs domestically. This gives him a domestic win of bringing home somebody who the Russians uh, have long championed and said was wrongfully imprisoned by the United States. And it gives them access once again to their old networks for arms trafficking. Yeah, Kevin McCarthy calling this uh, a gift for Vladimir Putin and kind of, you know, piggybacking on what the judge said. I mean, it is hard to believe. Yes, he may have been in prison for 10 years, but that doesn't mean that somebody who specialized in this would no longer have contacts. I, I said something that I can't repeat on television when I heard her say that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I had a bit of a reaction. Um, were you expecting, though, to see such a split reaction between celebration and, and also outrage? Right. The, the outrage, Kevin McCarthy leaving Paul Whelan behind is yeah. unconscionable. And you have to think of the timing here, right? Yesterday was Pearl Harbor Day. Uh, you never leave a Marine behind. That is the Marine motto, um, always faithful. And for this White House, that is really a tough pill to swallow. And, and it's clear from the optics, though, they're not worried about the backlash. They could have done this on Christmas Eve when nobody would have really cared. They wouldn't have gotten the good press. Uh, from Brittany Griner coming home, but they wouldn't guy have gotten as big of a backlash. It tells you they didn't really care about the backlash. How do we know that? You think about when Bo Bergdahl was swapped by the Biden administration, Joe Bi or by the Obama administration, Joe Biden was vice president. Uh, that was seen as an awful and horrible deal. Five members of the Taliban, hardened killers for Bo Bergdahl. The backlash didn't last that long. You think about any backlash to leaving behind uh, hundreds of Americans in Afghanistan right. didn't didn't last very long for this White House. They seem not to care. And we, we heard Karine Jean-Pierre talk about sort of the political gains that they thought they would get in the groups they thought were important uh, to play to by uh, this release and by this deal. White House got what they wanted. Yeah, I mean, and certainly we don't want to lessen, you know, this is, this is wonderful for, for Brittany Griner, for her family. Well, sure. But obviously. Yeah, you, know, you, you, you always have to look yeah. at this, though. There's lots of things we can do. There's lots of things that are wonderful for lots of people to do. And in, in an isolated moment, the, the reunion hug is great. But at what cost? At what cost uh, to Paul Whelan? At what cost to Americans who are abroad who now are under threat because of hostage, the threat of hostage right. diplomacy? You know, when I was abroad for, for four years, you always lived with that fear. Uh, and the, the higher the price on Americans, uh, and the, the more likely America is willing to pay, the more in danger Americans are. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.